Welcome to the Classy Council, Reflections for the Wise and Elegant Lady. I am Nadia, your Elegance Coach, and in this weekly podcast, I bring you insights on how to cultivate the attributes of a lady that is elegant and not only elevated in terms of appearance, but also on a much deeper level, spiritually elevated. You'll find cross-references made with verses from the Bible and from other sources of wisdom. Whether you are a beginner or advanced in your journey towards the most elegant version of yourself, a curious learner, or simply looking for some more elegant mindset inspiration, you are in the right place. So, grab your favorite beverage, sit back, and join me on this journey of discovery and growth. Authenticity is the daily practice of letting go of who we think we're supposed to be and accepting who we are. Bernie Brown. Authenticity is the quality of what is authentic, true, and pure. It is a virtue by which an individual expresses with sincerity and commitment what it deeply is. Synonyms for authenticity would be truth, sincerity, accuracy, and the opposites would be artificial, false, imitated, borrowed, inaccurate. This is an important subject to address because as an elegant coach and etiquette expert, I face a remark that comes up very, very often. Elegance is pretending, it's being hypocritical, it's repressing what one is in order to take a personality that is not one's own. And I hear it and I understand where it comes from, but this is a very bad perception of what elegance is. It's a, it's a wrong one. So I'm going to give you a quick reminder of what etiquette and good manners are, because those are, of course, etiquette and good manners are mastered by the elegant woman. The essence of etiquette and good manners lie, lies in, the, in respect for others, consideration for others. The fundamental principle is very simple. It's the golden rule. Do unto others as we would like others to do unto us. It's not a question of denying oneself, but rather adopting a kind and caring attitude towards others. This does not mean crushing yourself for others or serving as a doormat, no. We can recognize the value of others without diminishing our own. Elegance manifests itself through simple gestures, a sincere smile, a warm look, a open body language and attention to the needs of others. Etiquette are the codes that govern behavior, whether it is defined and written or commonly adopted in an almost unconscious manner. This is what allow us to live relatively harmoniously. However, good manners are more about the intention behind the behavior, respect and consideration. So etiquette and good manners go hand in hand, but they're not quite the same. To understand the difference between the two, I will tell you the story of Queen Victoria. She had invited foreign dignitaries to a banquet. Bowls of water are placed on the table to rinse the fingers, and the foreign dignitary next to her takes the bowl and begins to drink it. Queen Victoria's reaction is very elegant because she will take her bowl and start drinking it too. Contrary to what we think, being elegant is not being rigid, following the rules, you know. Um, Anna Gass, who is a French um, etiquette expert, she's the founder of the blog um, <clears throat> Apprendre les, les Bonnes Manières, which means learning good manners, said, she said, you learn the rules of etiquette to know when to apply them, but also when not to apply them. And it has become something that I want to teach to all people who approach me to, de to develop themselves and become more elegant. Where etiquette says the bowl of water should not be drunk, it is used to rinse your fingers. Good manners and elegance says it is important that my guest is not embarrassed. And that's what Queen Victoria did in that story. So that was for the clarification of essence, the essence of etiquette and good manners. Now, another qu clarification that needs to be done is um, uh, elegance is not a question of personality 
it's it's not a personality it's not it's an attitude it's an art of living but it doesn't replace a personality introverted extroverted discreet flamboyant elegance is infinite it isn't a fixed mold elegance adapts to each individual to reveal their inner beauty Elegance is above all a question of consideration. It means listening to others sincerely, without judgment. It is presenting yourself without artifice, with the assurance of who you are and the generous desire to share. It's true that when we begin to develop our elegance, we can be a little lost because there is a work being done. There is change, improvement. We break away from bad habits. We begin to see certain things that we did not see before. And at the same time, like any developing being, we will seek to imitate at the beginning what we consider to be role models, um, example of elegance. Now, another small clarification. I'm not against taking inspiration. I'm not against imitating if it's inspiration inspiration from people who are examples for us. This is also what role models are for in society. They are for inspiring. And that's also one of the goals. One of the goals of the elegant woman can be to be inspiring to others because she knows that what she what she's living, what she is, is is very good for her. So it could be good for others. So she wants to inspire that. Where there is a problem with authenticity is when we simply copy-paste while completely ignoring our own values, taste, and opinions. I do think that each of us has something to give to other. When I say other, I'm talking about the world in general. We all have something within us that needs to be shared. And creating yourself as a duplicate of a person who, who already exists not only prevents this sharing, but it constitutes a break um, on one of the most important things for continuing to develop is loving yourself. How can you love yourself if you are just a copy? It's like pretty much anything. We need a balance. Let's be inspired. Let's imitate the good things that speak to us and that help us develop certain qualities. But let's not stop there. Let's continue by being curious to know who we are deep down our values, our intentions, our tastes, our opinions. The ultimate goal is to reach our full potential and become this most beautiful version of ourselves. This is why the first exercise that I, I give my clients is to draw up a list of the values in which they find themselves. I present them with a non-exhaustive list of values, which they take the time to read, to then kind of determine those that correspond to them the the one they they relate to because I can teach the basics to be elegant you have to do this you have to do that um, know this etiquette rule say, is saying this don't do this do this but those basics must be anchored on values they can be inspired by me but we are not the same people I have my own values I can share them with you it's integrity loyalty kindness and resilience these are the v virtues that speak to me um, those are my my philosophy for life those are the most important values my priorities in my life but they can speak to 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 some woman and there are other women who would not feel related to them so this exercise aims to create the foundation of this identity, which will be specific to them. Since I'm going to start pr introducing them to some styles or would perhaps make reference to certain icons which are recognized as elegant, but it is important that they become aware of who they are and begin to appreciate it before we start doing all that work. Because that's where everything starts from. When I say everything, I'm talking about when you work on creating your style, building your self-confidence, um, working on your expression and eloquence, um, you need to know who you are and to like it. Creating your style is expressing who, who we are. Um, you have to want to express it. And to want to express it, you need to like it. But to like it, you need to know it. <laughs> Having self-confidence means believing in your value, in the 
in the legitimacy of your opinions and principles. And this value is based on all these values that define us. So you have to know its foundations. To be eloquent for your communication, um, eloquent is to deliver a clear message that touches and brings something to others. So in order to do that properly, you, you need to know what are your intentions? What is your vision? What is it that you want to share? What is the message? Who are you? <laughs> Again, if you're just a copy of someone, everything will be empty. Your style will be empty. Your communication will be empty. That's why we tell sometimes, we can tell some people are funny. When we say they're funny, it's because we feel that they're just, they're just copying a certain matters. Uh, they're mimicking but they, they didn't work, they didn't do this inner work of knowing who they were and what they stand for, and therefore you can feel it. That's why authenticity is very important because you cannot fake it, not for long anyways. It's scary, I'm not gonna lie, especially at the beginning, because getting out of your comfort zone is complicated. But the gratification the sense of fulfillment you feel when you reach the milestone is absolutely incredible. And then you realize, once you reach there, that the people around you, you actually inspire them to do the same. Wow. Your authenticity pushes others to express themselves too. They see you becoming an elegant version of yourself while remaining yourself. They see the doors that open before you, opportunities presenting themselves. Everything seems easier for you because, you know, that's aura of the elegant woman. She has charisma. She's effortless. Everything is so easy for her. It's more accessible. You are comfortable and they want the same thing. Oh, no, thank you. I wouldn't like to have confidence in myself like that. Say no one ever. Everyone wants to feel connected to themselves and others. So please do others a favor and dare to be yourself. Now, how to take this step of becoming more elegant while ensuring that you are authentic? Number one, be honest with yourself. Accept your strengths and weaknesses and don't try to hide them. Highlight your strengths, but take responsibility for your weaknesses. Accountability. Realize that your weaknesses don't make you worthless. They make you as human as anyone else. I'm not saying to sit on it, because of course, you know, self-development in one of the, is one of the attributes of the elegant woman as well, but rather not to self-sabotage by focusing on these weaknesses. Number two, express your opinions and feelings sincerely. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Assume your personality and your choices without comparing yourself to others. Don't be afraid to be different. On the contrary, tell yourself that on the one hand, you are perhaps not that different. What I mean by that is that I remember at the beginning when I started my journey and I started to express more of like genuinely my opinions, what I was thinking and I kind of you still was worried about what people might think. Most of the time when I dared, the reaction I had in front of me was more, oh, you too? And you would be surprised how many people actually had the same, um, had the same fears or had the same uh, feeling about something. It's, it's, it's crazy and it, somehow it's reassuring as well. So I was saying, um, on one hand, tell yourself that you are perhaps not that different. And on the other hand, just know, tell yourself that difference is an asset. Express your opinions and ideas confidently. Number three, respect others and their differences. Be open-minded and tolerant. Be respectful and considerate of others. Number four, be humble. Don't be afraid to admit your mistakes and ask for help. It is very good to be aware of your limits and above all, not to think of yourself as superior to others. Be grateful for the opportunities and people around you. Learn to accept your mistakes and learn from your experiences. It's, it's elegant, you know, to say with confidence, I didn't know about the subject or I don't know much about this. It's interesting. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to be interested in it and, and I'm going to learn. 
you know, it's there's there's nothing devaluing in admitting that we don't know something. And number five, cultivate your empathy. That's an important point related to, num to number three, respect others and their differences. Because to respect others, you need to understand them, so you need to cultivate your empathy. Put yourself in other people's sh shoes and try to understand their feelings. This is necessary to apply the famous golden rule, do unto others what you want them to, to do unto you. Authenticity is truly, truly a personal journey. Take the time to know yourself and accept yourself so you can naturally develop an elegance that is unique to you. Remember, elegance is not just about appearance. It is the reflection of a sincere, generous, beautiful soul. It is authenticity that brings elegance to life and allows it to manifest itself in all its splendor. It's almost like a, it's like a flower blooming. That's so poetic. Don't be afraid to be yourself because your true beauty lies in your authenticity. So as usual, I am ending this podcast with an inspiring Bible verse on the subject. And today is James chapter 3, verse 17. The wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, moderate, conciliatory, full of mercy and good fruits, free from duplicity and hypocrisy. If you like this podcast, if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment, like or share. If you also like Affirmations words, visit my YouTube channel, Madame Kabongo. You will find a video specifically on authenticity in the Affirmations for the Elegant Woman playlist. For even more advices to become the best version of yourself in etiquette, in elegance, in communication, follow me on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. You will always find me there under the same name, Madame Kabongo. Thank you. Learn who you are. No longer be afraid to stand out while developing yourself. See you next week. <laughs>